How's it going YouTube? It's RJ here and welcome to the first video of 2023. It's been a little bit to try to record this video, but this is my entire anime figure slash room tour. I don't know the exact value of my collection just yet. However, it'll probably be in the title, um, just you know, get the <laughs> just to get the little clicks. But um, I figured I would just show you guys the uh, room real quick and do this quick little introduction. I'm trying to not make this very long, but I don't really have faith in myself to make it that short. But let's give a overview of the room itself. So we're gonna just begin with the door where I have this wall scroll of Marin Kitagawa. Um, this one's really awesome. I do love this one <laughs> in particular. Uh, behind it, there's a Nezuko wall scroll and a uh, Chiyomi. Uh, I have that. It's really small. I don't know exactly where to put it at. So I kind of just put them here. Um, I'll probably take off the other two behind it and just keep Marin up. Maybe move it up a little bit higher. And then over here, we have just a bunch of hats that I have. Um, because I like having hats. They're pretty cool. Um, this one gets scratched up and banged up by just being opening me opening the door 24-7. I have this right here is like a little cubby section. I keep some figures over here. Um, there's one more shelf above this right here. Some NSFW figures. For, we'll get into that when we do this. And then I have two more shelves underneath that. That's just clothing and uh, uh, my personal care stuff. Then we come over to here where we have a bookshelf, uh, some posters. I have a bunch of posters done by this artist, uh, Night Seal. It's really, really cool. But we have this wall over here, TV where I play in game, uh, PS4 mostly. Uh, down there we have some Pokemon cards, plus a, uh, a mouse pad thing, plus a PS4. Um, and then we have the second bookshelf over here. I will, like I said, give up, give some close-ups. Then we have our life-size Hatsune Miku with some posters. Uh, those are promotional posters, one for Dragon Ball Super Broly and then uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Then over here we have the futon pull-out couch slash, uh, well, pull-out bed. This is what I sleep on. Uh, underneath there are four Daki Makuras. Um, those are being covered for a specific reason. Hanging up over here, I just have some cosplay pieces on um, because I don't really have space to hang them elsewhere and I really don't care to have additional light inside. I have to fix that poster over here of Itsuki, but we have quintessential quintuplets all over the place. I love quints. Um, I have my cosplay sword over there um, for Tengen. A uh, junk drawer, essentially. Then the final two book shape, uh, bookshelves over here. Um, then over here as well. But the manga we will be getting to in a different video. But yeah, that is the entire room tour. That's everything. I'm happy with how things are right now, but um, we'll get into all these shelves now. So for this first shelf, we have a couple figures. Uh, we have Chio. And then a uh, Van Presto um, Deku. Not too thrilled with how the shelf is because normally these are not back here, but right now I just have them. I got these little displays. They came in recently. All this stuff is kind of just like brand new things that I gotta work out. And then um, a hanging figure that's supposed to go hang up. I'm supposed to have it hung up, but I have to find a actual screw to place everything in. On the top shelf, uh, this shelf over here, we have our Deep Sea Miku, Exploding Blood, uh, Nezuko. This is Android 8 from, 18 from something, I forget, it was a, it's a prize figure. Little Miku over here. Then I have the Kotobukiya Quinto, Central Quintuplet set. Uh, everything is the exclusive shop version, excluding my favorite girl, Miku, and Ichika. Then in the back, we have our, uh, Nendoroids. Zero Two, Suyu, um, 
Igarashi, uh, Tanjiro, Nezuko, Toga, then that's, uh, what's her face? I forget. Uh, you have the Crunchyroll girl, the one from <laughs> Demon Slayer. Behind her, her, there's also Mikasa, and then two Mikus. It's really difficult to see them, but I hate Nendoroids, and I think everybody who has Nendoroids can agree that Nendoroids suck. But um, also in the back, I have uh, Sabito, Inosuke, and Aqua. They're all lying down because they just give me so many issues. I have them lying down. Plus a bunch of figures back there that I haven't put up. Because uh, I'm going to get a second acrylic display. Acrylic stand. So back there I know there's Darkness, Union, Aqua, uh, Kazuma. Oh, uh, yeah, Kazuma, um, Megami. And then Rushia, the VTuber, and Komi. So yeah, this is the Nendoroid shelf plus this. Um, I do want to clear out these right here, and then once I get the acrylic risers, those should be a lot easier to see. But it's as soon as I get the acrylic risers, I'll have everything that I want. So we're moving on to the other bookshelf just because I have to move on to that NSFW shelf very <laughs> at the very end. Because if I don't, I'm almost certain I could lose the channel. We'll, we'll see. Um, but down here we have a bunch of prize figures. It's a bunch of my Sakurajimas. Uh, we have Asuka from Evangelion. Uh, over here we have some slime. Then a couple figures that I got randomly. There's, I think that was Contact Collection. Uh, we have Launch. Another Asuka over here. Uh, Paimon from Genshin. And then just little figures. Uh, this one's from Love Live. Then we move on to over here, which is... Uh, really tall shelf. I don't like these bookshelves just because they leave a lot of empty space. Like, I have too much room here, but not enough to, like, fit a bunny in. But we have some really, really nice figures. We have Kano from Demon Slayer. Uh, we have both the Kakagurui uh, Kotobukiya figures, which are really, really nice figures. I bought that for myself for a birthday gift. Over here, we have Flair from... Uh, that was Redo of Healer. A Halloween Tricker Miku, which I haven't done a review on. Uh, Konosuba Darkness, the pop-up parade. That is Mona from Genshin Impact. And then this is a new figure, uh, Sonico, the uh, waitress version. Then up here, some Funkos. Uh, Funkos aren't getting added to like the total value of the collection. But we have the Glitter... Glitter and Glamour, Android 18s, the other variant of launch, two pop-up parades of Aqua, the winter and her normal outfit, uh, just a mega meme from Banpresto, Kotobukiya, uh, what's her face, Toga, and then there's a Dobby Nendoroid in the back. He, I think he's the only Nendo that isn't on the uh, Nendo shelf. Then over here, um, we have the Mount Lady autograph that's being blocked by Junko from Danganronpa. This is supposed to be like a Demon Slayer shelf, but I transitioned that out of here because I need the space. But um, we have a bunch of little baby Nezuko's. And in the back from GameStop, there's like there was like this set of figures that you could get. I want to move the Shinobu, which is really, really adorable. I love that Shinobu. But I have a bunch of them. I don't have them all, but I got a crap ton of Demon Slayer figures. And whenever I get little small trinkets, I kind of just put them onto the shelf because I really like them. Then onto this shelf. This is kind of just a hodgepodge kind of shelf. Um, we have, uh, let's use that shelf. Psychono. We have, uh, I forget it. I forget it. It's the uh, Kimi Dayo. That one, that whatever one that one is. Misfit, Demon Academy, Megamine, uh, Worlds and Harem back there. That has a humongous base. I'm not a fan of the base. Little uh, Toge. I'm going to remember. Uh, you're lying, April. There it is. Then I have these two Succubus figures back there. It's really hard to tell and look at them. Um, but one has clothing on, the other one doesn't. And we got Mama Cow back there. Really, really love Mama Cow. She's in a uh, 
glass container because I kind of want to put a couple more. I have three all together, two more figures. Um, what was I gonna say? I, I want to put them inside the little glass container too because it helps just protect from um, dust essentially. And then this right here, I forget the character's name, but got a little post it note covering most of the bits, hopefully. Uh, then we go to the top shelf, which has a few Funko Pops. A lot of them were autographed over here, excluding that Ochako. Uh, over here, a Harley and then a Gerard Way. But just like a little bunch of little figures over here. I see somebody f has fallen over. Don't know who that is. I think that's Megumi. Um, and this gorgeous, gorgeous Zero Two figure. Uh, Konobukiya Dark Magician Girl, Nagatoro. And then a uh, quarter scale bunny, Mega uh, Me from Psychono. And then up here on top, we have the pop up parade for um, Himiko, and then a little Nezuko Band Presto figure. So, yeah, that's the shelf. So, this bottom shelf is basically just prize figure hell. Um, a bunch of Hatsune Mikus over here, and then uh, Rem and Ram. It's a crap ton of prize figures. I gotta dust it again because this shelf is just really hard to get to. In fact, this entire bookcase is hard to get to, but it's just how it is. But um, I do have two figures that aren't included in this video just because I kind of forgot I had them and now they're just packed away, but they are some Christmas Mikus. But I really do like this Rem and Ram set over here, the uh, angel and the devil version. Uh, these ones are cute, the kimono ones. That's a cute Rem. Uh, Rem and Subaru's jacket, and then a bunch of Mikus because I got the by Cuties Miku, so I picked up the cat version, the uh, Nianko Miku. But yeah, I really like this shelf. Um, but I think a lot of the figures might be retiring soon in the collection. Not that I'll sell them, but more like I'll put things in their place. But this shelf over here is our My Hero Girls. We have the entire Bell Fine line, which is a uh, big accomplishment for me. I'm really happy with everything here. Uh, I, even though there are, there is another Belfine one coming out soon. So I can't wait to get that. Uh, excluding the school ones. I don't care about the school uniform ones. I like these uh, comic effect ones with the words, but obviously Jiro, Suyu, Toga, uh, Ochako, Mina, and then, um, what's your face, Momo. And then in the back, we have some Band Prestos, which are nice additions. Um, and then over here is one of my favorite figures, actually. We have the Invisible Girl, uh, Toru. Then over here, we have our My Hero Men shelf, including uh, <laughs> Megardia, which I just didn't have the space for, and I kind of just tossed her up there. But this is the Lunch Justice figures back there. I really like those. And then some random assortment of figures. I know it's a bunch of Van Prestos. This one's a build a figure. Uh, these Dekus are cool. As you can see, I really do need a dust over this way. But I mean, it is what it is. Then over here is another shelf. Um, this shelf includes some of my favorite figures. And I actually have a little lighting system, kind of, to try to get everything to work. But this includes a lot of my just favorite figures in general. So we have uh, the My Sakura Jima 1 6 scale, I think that is. Uh, Fire Force Tamahi with the uh, cat parts. Uh, she also gets affected by blue light. My Ethos, um, Mary. That's one of my top figures of all time. I think it is number one. Uh, other, well, actually, this one also competes for number one. Uh, the uh, Mikasa. Koto Bukia. Fantastic figure. Then we have our by cutie Sonico. She's up here just because of spacing. Um, back there you can see Chi Chi from uh, Mega House. I really do like that figure. We have a pop up parade of um, Vanilla from Nekopara. And then we also have a figure. Let's see if I can block it slightly. Uh, this is Chocla from Nekopara. This is 
a figure I got for myself for my birthday um last year and I am really happy about it I can't show it off I wanted to show it off in video beforehand but um I just couldn't and we're just gonna move upwards so you guys don't see <laughs> the parts that you're not supposed to on her I really do want to do a video on that it's just I gotta get her dressed again and figure out how I'm gonna do this but over here we have the Nezuko shell uh, this is all Demon Slayer. Obviously, you have some Tanjiro's uh, Kamo over here. Shinobu in the back as well. Because these are just my Demon Slayer girls. But just Nezuko all around. Um, there's a garage, not garage kit, but a uh, resin statue. Another Shinobu Van Presto. Then Glitter and Glamours. Siblings, I think. And then little baby Nezuko's over here. It's just as many Nezuko's I could get onto the shelf I did. Because Nezuko is my girl. I love her to death. But um, another cool thing is this custom Funko Pop that my dad did for me. That I asked for because um, I wanted her with the pink eyes. Because it looks nice. Now we get on to the top shelf. And it doesn't have too many. It's just a... Uh, quarter scale bunny girls um magical senpai which is just a figure i bought to buy don't really like the show but i'm gonna push through it eventually and i'm gonna do a review on it and then i'm gonna become the biggest fan of magical senpai out there uh then i got a couple funko pops they're all right um uh, nothing too crazy you know just hanji and uh the uh crystallized what's his face aaron then yutaha from saikano how to raise a boring girlfriend. Give you the Funko Pop because I have a duplicate of him, so I just have one out of the box. Then uh, approaching Nezuko and Shinobu. And then back here, you can see the Weathering with You set. Um, really happy with that one. They fit together. It's really hard to see just because I got a bunny girl blocking them. But yeah, that is this bookshelf entirely. It's like I said, it's a little hard to get to just because I have that much space in between. So over on this shelf, we're just going to work from the top and go down. Um, over here, we have quarter scale bunny, uh, Yumiko and Zero Two. Behind them, I have uh, little pictures as well. Kurumi from Data Live or Data Bullet. Um, Friends and Girlfriend, Shizuru, uh, Mitsuhara. Uh, we got a little Coraline back there. She's not anime, but, you know, uh, she's from my favorite movie of all time. A Rengoku figure, um, Holo from Spice and Wolf. Then we have Helltaker, uh, Lucifer. And then a little, little Miss Kobayashi dragon. Now, I'm going to keep this here. Um, my, I still have all of my DC stuff, um, because normally... This entire bookcase is usually covered in completely DC, but I'm transitioning DC out of like just my viewable collection and right now it's just in storage just because there isn't more DC stuff being made that I enjoy really. Uh, most of it's most of it's dealing with the DC just collectibles line not being how it was before where they weren't pushing things out. But let's just uh, go over these. We have some Kotobu Kia products, which I do want to showcase because they are included in the pricing at the very end of this video or beginning of the video or wherever I put it at in the title, whatnot, because they are done by Kotobu Kia and they are some of my favorite figures from the DC line, actually. Uh, Catwoman, Wonder Woman, Poison Ivy, uh, San Diego Comic-Con, I think, exclusive, White Raven, then, uh, just a Kotobukiya Harley Quinn Suicide Squad color. Then this right here, which is an amazing set, the Sleepover set. Absolutely adore it. And then this posable figure. And then down here was another, uh, this was specifically just Birds of Prey, but I kind of am transitioning, like I said, DC stuff to a smaller section. Um, my favorite, I think this is my favorite figure, um, maybe of all time though. It was definitely my favorite Harley. But this is the Joelle Jones, um, what's her face? Harley. Then back there is Wedding Dress, Catwoman. And then we have this right here. It's a figure I need to get fixed. 
uh, Goku and Vegeta. This is, I think, the movie one for uh, Resurrection. No, not Resurrection. Uh, Fusion Reborn. Uh, Autograph Poison Ivy. Sleeping Nezuko and Inosuke plus a Shinobu acrylic keychain. Uh, Sonico. Then we have Aqua and Darkness from Konosuba. Another Sonico back there. Um, this is one of my favorite figures as well because this is just absolutely gorgeous. And then a brand new Hidata figure that I need to showcase. Then down here, this is where I normally record. You'll usually see the video from like this angle over here. Um, when I'm not recording though, I usually am just film, uh, I just have things in here that just to fill up the space so that way I have the room and then whenever I need to record, I just take everything off and then just adjust my background to whatever I need it to be. But we have this amazing prize figure of the happy birthday cat, um, Miku, the Christmas Miku, which I gave one away just recently, uh, Coconut from Nekopara. Then there's a Hatsune Miku back there that's really adorable. Um, I think it's like a racing event one. Uh, Shinobu pop-up parade that I have to get fixed to because her sword broke. Uh, Kurone, the VTuber, uh, Shuna, Ochako, and then Megumin. Sorry, from uh, the pop-up parades. Then just a little, little figures here and there. I got these ones from New York Comic Con, these uh, Hello Good Smile ones. And then Super Saiyan God Goku and the SH figure arts. Then down here I have my hot toys that I never actually did a review on. Um, but that's fine because I don't really need to do a review on everything. But I don't mind going back over figures that I have in my collection and just doing a review on them. Uh, in the back it's really hard to see because she's being blocked. But there's this gorgeous Wonder Woman figure. Um, it's like a statue. Like a, it's a statue of a statue. This right here, this little chica from uh, Kaguya-sama. I have to figure out how I feel about that because this is extremely tiny. Not a fan. Plus, she's really dusty. I gotta clean her up. Um, then we have this figure over here, which is the same one that was sitting down on the other shelf. Uh, I didn't know that this one was cast off until I was taking off all the plastic and it turns out yeah she she's cast off cool uh Kana and Toru the cat versions I really like these I do want just normal Toru and Kana but I'll get one eventually this right here uh probably my worst figure ever um this is seven deadly sins uh, Elizabeth, the goddess form by Fox Japan. Um, terrible figure. Absolutely horrendous. Never would not recommend this ever in my life. But, uh, I got it for free because it came in broken. And I still have to fix it. And it's probably going to lean over time. And it has a lot of issues. As soon as I get it fixed, I will be doing a review. But getting it fixed is the issue. Then, uh, Milam from Slime. Bunny outfit from what company is that? I forget what company that is. And then these are half scale bust of Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman from Justice League. And then the last shelf is just Dragon Ball. I got Fallen Over SH Figure Arts Goku, Band Presto Goku, uh, Glitter and Glamour, Bulma, uh, really cool trunks over there. Broly, which is a massive figure with a little Beerus hanging off of his hand. Then SH Figure Arts 21 plus uh, Mega House 21 plus a Mega House Bulma Arabian outfit. A Chi-Li Band Presto, Band Presto, Presto Super Saiyan Goku, and Glitter and Glamour Bulmas back there. I have a bunch of Bulmas actually. But yeah, this is just the Dragon Ball shelf. Um, and then obviously, uh, Glow in the Dark, Funimation exclusive, Pendant Shenron, the Funko. But yeah, um, really happy with the shelf. And I kind of want to just cons consolidate all my Dragon Ball into here, but I just have too much. So on to the next book sh shelf. So I'm going to be careful over here because there's some manga that I can't really show off. But um, these are the only three figures that are on like the manga part. Um, this tiny little Anya plus... Chimera and then three of the quints I have the other two ordered 
they'll be coming in eventually but we're going to move up to here um we have eris from uh, mashoko tensei the bunny version of hatsune miku uh the quarter scale shion which i absolutely adore we have a bunch of like clear files and books over here as well but i'll get into that in a bit then we have over here the Kotobukiya, uh, Cynthia, and Garchomp. I'm trying to be extremely careful because of the figure next to it. Uh, some Miku Nakano, Sylveon, some Pokemon stuff. Uh, Hanako Kun, uh, some acrylic displays. And then we're going to just go over here to, uh, you didn't see nothing, <laughs> to the Sonico. Um, the Sunkiss version. I think this is a, uh, I forget what scale this is. I think it's like one fifth or something, but I didn't even realize that this was also cast off until I did it. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool with these figures. Um, they're kind of just like the figures you see as soon as I walk into my room. So we're going to start from the back. You won't be able to see the full figures for a lot of them, but we have Rias on the pole and Rias the bunny version. We have Chiomi right here. Um, we're gonna try to block off that other figure in the back as much as humanly possible because I know it's slightly covered. Uh, I forget your name though, but we got that figure and then we got Annette back here, which is a really, really nice figure. Um, she's on the pole. We got two Marin Kitagawas because um, I got the deluxe version of the resin. So one's Nike, and then the other one is brand new. I will do a review on this figure though in a bit, but I got to get this repaired slightly because it is extremely loose on the base. And we got Bernie Sanders over here, uh, hanging out with all the girls. And then we'll try to, yeah, okay, so we're good here. Uh, we got this figure, I forget your name too. Um, and there's this figure in the back that I don't remember its name either. It's from Native. I saw it for a deal without really looking at the image other than like frog slippers. I really don't care for the figure in the back. That's like the one figure where if I just didn't buy it, I'd be a lot happier with. But um, this one has a cute face. I really do like that one. Then we come over to you, the Santa one. Um, this is as safe for work as I can get you. Um, this one's pretty cool. I got this because it came in on Christmas. Then we go over here to Charlotte. Charlotte is a really, really cool figure. And we're only focusing on Charlotte here because getting post-it notes to stick on any of these figures is ridiculous. And I I wish there was a better way for me to do this other than actually clothing them, but I don't have all the pieces out to do that. So uh, yeah, we got Charlotte. Really, really good nun figure. Then there is a figure behind her. Let's see if I, I can't even zoom in any further and I really, can't get her in there very well there we go that's that figure back there that came in broken um so it was like extremely cheap but i wasn't too bothered by it so yeah that is that is all the uh the uh figures that i can um <laughs> i can say are safely uh for work and truly truly uh nothing wrong with those figures whatsoever uh if you guys want better pic pictures of them anyone in particular uh just maybe let me know in the comments and then I can probably post them on Twitter because Twitter is lawless. So yeah, that was the collection tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I plan on releasing the entire manga collection video sometime either later this week or like next week. Because this video was supposed to come out at the beginning of the year, but getting everything set up for this and like I said, I have to still dust a bunch of figures. I'm not even 100% set up, but this was a nightmare of a video. But I'm very happy to have gotten it done and hopefully there's more to add in the year to follow except maybe I shouldn't be ordering so much stuff because I really don't have all the space in the world but I make it do so that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time YouTube so until then goodbye